the year he's going to lead off in his test, but it's already a couple of home runs in the series. Victor Martinez, the DH hitting third in his career, a 326 hitter, 12 home runs and 56 RBIs. Then it's J.D. Martinez. What a first half. He has had 24 home runs on the year for the cleanup hitter. Castellanos and McCann in the middle of the lineup. Marte, Romine, and Iglesias will round out the nine for the Tigers. And we'll take a look at the numbers for Jay Happ on the year. 4-5 and five record, a 3-9-3 ERA. 72 strikeouts and 22 walks. That's over 91 and two-thirds. Opponents hitting 276. He's given up eight home runs this year. And we'll take a look at the defense for the Mariners. Brought to you by American Family Insurance. Dustin Ackley getting the start in left field. Jackson with a grand slam last night. He is in center. Seth Smith out and right. Kyle Seager, your third baseman. Miller Cano playing up the middle. Mark Trumbo giving Logan Morrison the afternoon off. He will be at first base. And Jesus Sucre giving Mike Zanino a break. He will do the catching this afternoon. We'll take a look at Hatton and what he did in his last outing against Oakland. Six innings, eight hits, three earned runs. Didn't walk anybody. That'll be a key for him this afternoon. Five strikeouts. He threw 101 pitches in that outing. Great to have Jay back on the winning trail. Victory against Oakland. It came after four consecutive losses and five no decisions. His prior victory was against Oakland here at home back on the ninth of May. Here we go. Good to have you with us. Today baseball here in Seattle. First pitch, Rajay Davis in there for called strike one. Drake has balls and strikes today. DJ Rayburn, the umpire at first, Joe West at second, and Kerwin Danley at third. Davis, one of the fastest men in baseball. One more pitch. For half. Pretty good fastball. He'll be 91 to 94 miles an hour. Likes to mix in his slider. Occasional change up and curveball for half. There's a lot of fastballs. He'll be right around 65% fastballs this afternoon. And two to Davis. Up high, ball two. First appearance from Rajay here in the three game series. Full count. Third career start. For half against Detroit. Taiwan Walker very impressive yesterday. Trent Jewett running the ball club in absence of Floyd McClendon. Like the way the kid hung in there yesterday. And the thing that Trent pointed out, he said a lot of young guys, you see, see the, the balls leaving the yard. You know, young, and he got smoked pretty good yesterday, but he said he liked the fire that he showed. He says, all right, hey, I'm going to get the next one. I'm here. I'm here all day. Well, and the other thing is he, he didn't back off of his fastball. He continued to throw his fastball, which I thought was a big key for him yesterday. That's not an easy thing to do. How many times you see young pitchers when their fastball gets hit, they try to go to a totally different game yeah. plan. And left with the lead. Got a no decision last night. Here's you and Cespedes. He's the reason why. Taiwan didn't get the win. He had an 0 2 fastball. Was that 98 from Rodney? Turned that baby around and just crushed it to center field. How many guys you know, are A are going to hit it and B are going to hit it as well as he hit it? No, and I, I think that in that at bat, especially off of Rodney, because you always have his change up in the back of your mind. And that was the best fastball he'd thrown. Previous to that, he'd seen 94, 95, and then 98, which is a big difference. That was impressive that he was able to do that. Ground ball Seeger vacuums it up. Two away. And speaking of home runs, we want to see a lot of that today. Jay Happ keeping the ball on the ground has been the difference in this series. A lot of home runs. Here at home this year, Happ is 2-2 two and two with a 2.08 ERA, but because of the weather and how warm it's been, it's, this ballpark has played quite a bit different. A lot of home runs in this series on both sides. Detroit's hit eight of them. Two, first two games. Mariners bounced back quite well yesterday with Jackson with the grand slam. Goody with a home run. Cano with a home run. Mariners hit three yesterday. Here's the always dangerous Victor Martinez. Two for five in last night's game. Jay Hamp's got a two and two record here at home this season, an ERA of 2.08.
Hernandez. Get another opportunity to face off against the Angels. That'll be tomorrow night. Angels playing some good ball. Won four consecutive games in eight of their last ten. Two and a half behind Houston. Bears could use a big one from Felix tomorrow. Two and one. And the last pitch you can see on the EQC tracer. Good fastball right at the bottom of the strike zone. That's a big key for Jay Half today is to get the low strike. Rob Drake, I think, missed that last fastball. He's going to try to keep the ball on the ground, and to do that, you're going to have to run it away from the right handers and keep it at the knees. Three and one. Angels coming to town for four big games, closing out the first half. Our CenturyLink, what's next? Good matchup. Garrett Richards and Felix. Hector Santiago and Mike Montgomery. CJ Wilson and Asashi Iwakuma. And Andrew Haney against Taiwan Walker. The Angels lately have been scoring a lot of runs. Two to Victor Martinez. JD Martinez is on deck. Which is pretty consistent. Both sides of the plate seem to be able to go gap to gap. Well, he's, he's the thing that's unique about him is typically when you see these switch hitters, they'll hit the ball the other way, say right handed, and they'll pull the ball left handed. He, he isn't like that. He really lets the ball travel, unfortunately. Where Jay is able to jam him up right there with a good fastball in his hands. Nice sitting for Jay Happ to get us underway here. Sunny skies here in Seattle. Glad you're with us. Tigers, nothing. Mariners coming to bat. Feeling good off last night's win, and Austin Jackson played a big part of it with his first career grand slam. Let's take a look at the rest of the batting order for the Mariners today. They starting line is brought to you by Chevron. A couple of changes in the lineup. Jackson with the grand slam yesterday. He will lead off. Then it is Seeger. Cano has been hot last night. First walk-off hit with the Mariners. Then it's Cruz, Smith, and Trumbo in the middle of the lineup. Ackley getting the start in left field. Brad Miller, the shortstop, and Asu Sucre will do the catching. So Logan Morrison and Mike Zanino getting the afternoon off. Strike one from Annabelle Sanchez. Solid veteran right hander. One of his last four decisions. Take a look at Sanchez on the year. A 4.65 ERA, 7-7 seven seven record for him. 100 strikeouts, 32 walks. He's given up 18 home runs this year. Even though opponents are only hitting 233 against him. Sanchez took a no hitter into the eighth inning in his last start. That was against Toronto. It was a game where they had the big lead in it. Remember, we were tracking that game here. It was like 8 0. It ended up 8 6.
Good for Austin Jackson with that first career grand slam last night on an 0 2 pitch in the third inning. Right three called. Not to mention, it was a timely grand slam. The Mariners were down 3 to nothing at that time when Austin hit the grand slam. Take a look at the defense for the Tigers, brought to you by American Family Insurance. Cespedes getting the start out in left field. Davis in center. J.D. Martinez, the right fielder. Castellanos at third. Iglesias and Romine playing up the middle. Kinsler getting the day off. Romine at second. Marte will be at first base in the can doing the catch. And the pitch selection for Sanchez. Fastball just over 50% of the time. Mostly slider and change it for his off speed pitches. He will mix in a curveball and occasional cutter. Kyle Seeger. Tough road for him so far. One for nine in this series. Seager batting in a two hole for the fourth time this season. Sanchez has a good fastball. He'll be 92 to 95 miles an hour or at miles an hour hour. He averages right around 92. See quite a few sliders from him, but his changeup has been a better pitch for him as of late. Starting the year in April, league hit 333 off of his changeup, dropped to 300 in May, but in June, just a 107 average against his changeup. Wow. You know, idea. It's such a field pitch, and I, I would bet he was leaving that pitch up and in the middle of the plate a lot early in the season, but he's made some adjustments, so the Mariners will have to be aware of that. Check swing. All right, walk the fans through this one. You come off a night game, three hours and 44 minutes last night, 11 innings, emotional win, 7 6. Boom, you're right back here today. In terms of, you know, get prepared for something like that. How do you dial it up as a player? This is a mental day right here. Your body is going to be tired. You're going to probably be a little bit sore. Obviously, Zanino, he should be relaxing in the clubhouse. Don't even want to see him today. He, he's the one that caught the entire game. He catches a lot for this club, so Mike is relaxed. But I think more than anything, mentally, you have to get yourself ready. And it and it starts from the time you get up in the morning. So you're telling yourself, hey, this is what I gotta do. I'm going, I'm gonna get through this one today. I'm gonna go as hard as I can because I know I have the afternoon off. I'm gonna have a nice dinner with my family. All that's gonna be nice later, but I have to work my way through this one today. Two and two. Fly ball right field for J.D. Martinez. Fair territory, two down. And I'll be going to bed at 8:45. That's a possibility as well, Dave. <laughs> but you know what? It, it's part of the deal in this league, and that's it, why it can be difficult at times. You never know what the game that you're playing that day is going to entail. And I mean, they could play extras again today. You, you never know, and, and mentally you just have to be prepared for it. And that's probably the hardest part, especially when we're starting to get to that point. You, know, you start moving in. To mid July, August, they call it the dog days for a reason. And it, it takes a strong individual more on the mental side to get through it. And that's why these guys are the best in the business. Right, Jewett said, want to get some fresh bodies on the field, and that he has done as Robbie Cano takes a strike. Coming off is another multi hit game, his fourth in his last seven games, hitting 12 for his last 30. Broken bat slicing drive. Rajay Davis can't get it. Base hit for Cano. Did you love the joy on his face and the guy's faces after he got that game winner last night? That was beautiful. And I talking to Trent Dewitt about it. I said, is this team up tight? He says, no, but that was a big help right there watching. He says, watching your, your lead dog right here come well, through. And that's what I was going to say. If I had to pick one of the two, it was great to see Robbie excited about it, but to see his teammates. This guy, he can do so much for you. And see that base hit right there, and that's the thing about this game sometimes, Dave, is early in the season, we remember when he was in Oakland, 0 for 13, hit the ball in the button almost every time, had nothing to show for it. Those things are going to start to turn around. But when you're going through it, it's difficult. And then you start to press a little bit, your swing, you lose your swing, make some outs. But the good news for him is he's really starting to roll, and that could be a big help, and that's a help right there from Iglesias. That's a rare thing. You will not see much of that. That guy's as sure-handed as they come. For Iglesias, his eighth error of the season, it keeps this inning alive. He's six. Well, he, he's pretty lax out at shortstop, but that's kind of his style. And right there, he just clanks it. Take a look at it in our Alaska Airlines Supermo. He has it, and it was on the transfer right there. 
and, and oddly enough, the thing of Justin Verlander was raving about to me the last couple of days. The kid makes the best transfer. If you, you'll never see anybody quicker. So there's an E up on the board, an opportunity for Seth Smith. Well, he's not perfect. Oh yeah, well, that's just like we said about uh, Felix when he got rocked a couple of times this year. Guess what? He's human. See if Seth can take advantage of it. It's a break for the Mariners. Alaska Airlines Super Bowl at 900 frames per second it does make it look easy, that's for sure. Great opportunity here for the Mariners. 0 1 to Seth. And Owen Cruz aboard. Seth's got good numbers against Sanchez. 6 for 17. Two of the hits, home runs. Tigers third place in the central seven off the pace of Kansas City the Mariners nine back of first place Houston in fourth place in the West. And we'll see the Tigers again after the all star break three games in New York four in Detroit. Brad Ausmus second year manager. Standing day, nice breeze, temperature at 67 degrees. Very comfortable. I know we've had 90s here recently, but 67 feels a heck of a lot better now. and considerably more normal for this region at this time of year. Ball and two strikes, two on. Two, two. Day to be out in the sun watching baseball. Two and two, two outs, two on. Going back is Iglesias. Fighting the sun makes the play, and that will do it. Who runs a hit and error, two left. To the second inning we go. No score. Seattle Mariners baseball here on Root Sports being brought to you by BNSF Railway, sponsor of the BNSF Blast. Good look at Root Canal at low tide. And our friends in California have had water issues. Hopefully things will start to come back around. Here's J.D. Martinez. One to JD. 
J.D. Martinez, Nick Castellanos, and James McCann. Four, five, and six for the Tigers. Go Mariners! All right. All right, work at home paid off. Tina is second in the league. Albert Pujols, 24 home runs. Albert's got 26. We we're talking about the Angels coming to town. They are rampaging. They have four wins, four consecutive wins. Outscored the opposition 43 to 10. It's amazing when you talk about Albert with the 26 home runs that he has. And just the difference between what he's doing this year and the last couple of years and we talk about it all the time how important it is to pick the baseball up early and, and how important your hands are in your body because how important your legs are that is really where it all starts the foundation of what you're doing and Albert's had all kinds of leg issues he's finally healthy and it's paying off big time for the angels yeah, it stays one and two to JD Martinez and Albert's going to participate in the home run hitting contest in the all-star break the all-star game uh, Festivities. One two pitch. This kid's hot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is what he is, did. Man, this, this is, is about normal for him. Sheesh. He is really something. We'll take a look at the last pitch. That's a change up. Change up middle away. Didn't quite get it to the outside corner as you look at our Alaska Airlines Supermo on the swing of J.D. Martinez head right down there on the changeup. It wasn't kidding when he said he remade his whole offensive output from what he was just another I, guy. I think, I think his approach has a lot to do with it. Yeah. And I think you have to give Miguel Cabrera some credit for that just by your ability as a hitter in the lineup to watch him every day and go about his business. Some of that has to creep into what you're doing. And his approach to me, he looks as if anything that is a fastball. He's staying more towards the middle of the field. And if you throw an off speed pitch and you don't get it all the way down and on that outside corner, he's going to be on it. We saw it last night on the double down the line up against the fence. And now that base had to change up. That was not a bad pitch by Jay at all. But because his, his, his thought process is right, he's able to hand just handle just about everything. His power, right center and right field is ridiculous. It really is. And when we've, we've seen that. Here in this series, I, I just, you know, to me, I think more his approach. Give him a lot of credit. You, you talked about it revamping everything, but I, I think his approach has made a big difference for him, too. Oh, and two to Castellanos. I gets through Sucre and advancing is JD Martinez. Take a look at it. I think this is a cutter. Probably be a pass ball. That's a slider. Slider right off the end of his glove. Nobody out. Pass ball. Runner in second. Castellanos one for five with. Two run homer in the second inning last night. First game of the series. Monster night. Four for five. Four runs batted in. Two runs scored. Homer, two run single, and an RBI single. Through the whole base hit. Here comes Martinez getting a wave on. Please throw not in time going to second on the throw as Castellanos and the Tigers a one nothing lead Castellanos with an RBI is 37th. Well, we talked about it with the Tigers a number one hitting club in the American League and the pass ball ends up hurting right away as Castellanos who's had a good series has been hot finds a hole on the left side of the infield. Castellanos said second. 
single taking second on the throw brings up the young catcher who they really like James McCann he's got four homers 19 runs batted in McCann playing in his 57th game. Third baseline. And half behind. 2 and 0. And we haven't talked about it a lot because the bulk of the scoring for the Tigers so far in the series has been with the home run. They've hit eight of them in the first two games. This is a club not only leading the league and hitting as a team, they're hitting 280, but also hitting 280 with runners in scoring position. That's about as consistent as you can get. A daunting number. And home run wise, they're ninth in the American League in home runs. The Mariners are sixth. They've done some damage in this series. Wally Joyner on the right, the hitting coach, terrific hitter during his day. And Kinsler getting the day off there. Every day, second baseman. Two to two. Detroit's taken a lead in every game in this series by scoring in the second inning. Now in all three games. Two and two to McCann. And half strikes him out. Big out. One away. Tomorrow, 7-10 start time. Make sure you're here at Safe Go Field. See King and the all-star himself, Felix Hernandez, is going to take the mound before heading to the Midsummer Classic. Cheer him on from the King's Court for only 30 bucks. Plus, you'll receive a King's Court T-shirt and cake card. Tickets at Mariners.com slash Felix. <laughs> Jeffrey Marte playing at first base today. Time in the minor leagues for young Marte between the Tigers, A's, and Mets organizations. Signed last November with Detroit. Only one at bat for him, 0 for 1. A 2 1 count here. And that's a lot of trouble. Down into the corner. Scoring easily is Castellanos. Smith gets it back in. RBI double for Jeffrey Marte and Detroit's got a 2 nothing lead. No, no. First hit, first RBI. Pretty good hitting too. This is a fastball, 92 miles an hour. It's elevated, but it's off the outside corner, and Marte just goes with it right inside the first base line. Pretty good swing, just out out of the reach of Trumbo. First major league hit in RBI, Jeffrey Marte. One out and brings up second baseman Andrew Romine. Romine a switch hit. Supra's throw is not in time. And that will be a wild pitch. You can see it in the dirt. Like a curveball. 
Pretty good job by Marte to hang on to the bag. You can see how far he'll slide by the base. He catches that back corner of the bag. Kyle puts a tag on him and stays with him for a long time, but he's able to keep his hand on it. And his foot. Don't mind now. And he gets it drawn in infield. 2-0 here in the second inning. Castellanos and Marte with RBI. Another look at the slide in our Alaska Airlines Supermo. It's the front edge of the bag and is able to hang on to it, even though his momentum and his slide takes him past it. Third base umpire had a good look at it. 1 1. Good job by Kyle Seeger to stay with the play just in case. This next pitch would be 40 for half. 1 and 2 to Romine with Iglesias on deck. Balls, two strikes. Seventeenth start for half. Second inning trouble. Strikes out Romine. That's a big K. His second of the inning. Just elevates a fastball. Late swing by Romine. Pretty good fastball from Jay. 93 miles an hour. Talked about a, a lot about Iglesias and his ability at shortstop. But he's having a fine year offensively. Hitting 319. Fourth in the American League. And this team playing without Miguel Cabrera. They hope to have him back at the latest by mid August. Strike one to Glacius. Cabrera only leading the league with a 350 batting average. And leads an on base percentage as well. Popped up. Trumbo taking a look and into the room. Tiger fans sending out their best wishes to the two time MVP. Oh, two to Iglesias. Not back. I still think back every time we played Detroit. Always reminded of our I ride back going. to the hotel. <laughs> Cabrera, yeah, he's hitting about 390. The guys in some talk show in Detroit wanted to trade him. He's a bum. He's a stiff. We're worried about hitting with runners in scoring position. That. And we all just look at each other and we'll take him. <laughs> There's a slider down and in. He hit it right off of his shin. Mm. That one will hurt. Pitches in the inning for Jay Happ. Not what he had in mind. Kevin ran the trainer out there to take a look at him. Sure, it's not what Trent Jewett had in mind. Again, the extra innings yesterday and emptying the bullpen. And by the way, the bullpen was terrific last night. They really pitched well. Big thumbs up. Low again, striking out the side for his inning. Smith with five strikeouts. He was able to strike out the side. 
pitch hung up, and it's driven into the gap. Long run. Tracking it down is Jackson. Iglesias will limp in the second with an RBI double. So a hanger. He got to it. Picking up an RBI, his 15th. Fourth leading hitter in the league. Iglesias with his eighth double. And with that base hit, Rick Wade's going to make a trip out to the mound. We'll take a look at this last pitch. That's a changeup. Again, he was able to get it to the outside corner, but it was elevated. Makes it a much easier pitch. An elevated changeup is a pretty easy pitch to attack as a hitter. Well, we're talking about the bullpen. Let's. Most strikeouts in a game by a bullpen. Here we go. There's a 12 second to what the Yankees did back on April 10th. And that wasn't just five innings with the Mariners did. That's outstanding. Well, they were special last night. Really good work. Have to believe Carson Smith is down today. Pitched a couple of innings through over 30 pitches. Trent said Rodney will close today, if necessary. Jay Davis, as we get back to the top of the order, flight out the center's first time. Third consecutive game, Detroit gets out to a 3 0 lead. Rajay, the seventh man to the plate here in the second inning. DJ Rayburn said he did not go, so one and two. We'll take a look at it. That's the changeup, and I think he's okay. That's a good call. Two balls, two strikes. As we go to the home second, 
Mark Trimbo going to lead off his second time getting a start at first base. It's coming over from Arizona. Followed by Destin Ackley and Brad Miller. Trimbo, last night's ball game, two for four. Base hit the right, base hit the center. Dave, you mentioned it. Tiger scoring early in all three of the ball games. The good news for the Mariners, they've been able to come back in the first two games. There you hey, go. That's there a start. we go. Down the line. Trumbo will get two. A fine start to the Mariners second inning. They've been pitching him away and away and away. We were talking about it last night. <laughs> There's base hits on that side of the field, Dave. That's exactly right. And Mark, I think this is the third hit in a row that he's been able to pick up. Hitting the ball the other way, just inside the bag. Great look at our Alaska Airlines Super Bowl in the swing by Trumbo. But a good start. But the Mariners able to come back in the first two games. Yep. We're not able to hold the lead in the first game, obviously winning last night in extra innings. But to keep in mind as you watch this game and watch the Tigers, they're pitching. They are 14th in ERA, and they're both going to struggle. Have to hang in there. Good start here in the second inning. Trumbo with his second double. On a one count to Dustin Eckley. And some idiot just ran onto the field. Are you kidding me? Oh well, man. Oakland the other day when we saw this. Boom. Good tackle. That will be a heavy fine. A lot of time in jail. And fortunately, this will not take long at all. Security did an excellent job taking care of this right away. And the security guard who made the play clearly played football. We can't, I'm not going to show it to you, but I just take my word for it. He clearly played football. Got his hips under him, drove through Mike, and took him down. Well, he did. And they, like I said, he did an excellent job to get him off the field quickly. He was being escorted by a couple of Seattle's finest. I don't know why I could hear a murmur to our left. I was wondering what was going on, and then sure enough, Escorted, not being dragged off, but being walked off out in the right center field. As we move to further action in the ball game, that quick that was a quicker takedown by Seattle's finest than what we saw at Anaheim when the guy ran around for a good 90 seconds. Including multiple tackles. So where were we? Oh, 0 1 to Ackley. With Trumbo at second. Dustin 1 for 3 career against Annabelle Sanchez. Pitches one away, second strikeout for Sanchez. That will bring up a hot hitter for the Mariners. Brad Miller, the shortstop. The base hit last night. Even the game later, Chris Taylor starting the game, but Brad ended up with an bat had a base hit. And for Brad over his last 12 games, he's hitting 385 with four doubles and a couple of home runs. See what he's done in the month of June. Batting average up to 247. Center field, long run for Rajay Davis. He gets under it. Trumbo tags. There's a throw by Davis to the cutoff man. In with a slide is Trumbo. Third base. Two outs, man at third. 
Jesus yeah. Sucre. Extraordinary moments happen every night in baseball, but on one night, they all happen in one place. Don't miss the 86th All-Star Game. Coverage begins at 4 p.m. Pacific next Tuesday on Fox. Sucre, one for 25 on the season. Chance to pick up a two out RBI. Start this season. Two and one. Day off for Mike Zanino. Well deserved. Aaron. Yes, he did. The glove of Sanchez. Turn. And he throws it away. Run scores. Another break. Pitcher out of his element like that. I think it was the first baseman. It looked to me as if the first baseman just whipped it. Take a look at it. I think that was a fastball from close quarters. <laughs> You're too. right about that. No question. But look at this. He did. He did with it. Oh my goodness. Good recovery by Sanchez. Yeah, it's a little firm, but wow. I don't, I don't think that touched leather at all. No, it didn't. E3. Arizona board 3 1 ball game, and it continues. Good break for the Mariners. Hey. All right. Enjoying it. Two outs, run scored, top of the order now for Jackson. Took a call, third strike, first time up. And the Mariners are second in the American League in fielding. The Tigers are third, and already a couple of errors here early in the ballgame for the Tigers. Glacius made an error back at the first. Shortstop. How about this moment last evening for Austin Jackson? Up down in the count. It's a pitch down and in, just drops the barrel on it. Hits it over the Tigers' bullpen for his first career grand slam. He gave the Mariners a one run lead. They were down three to nothing before that hit. Two and two. And he did it behind an account 0 and 2. Nice work. Hit that off of Kyle Ryan, who the Mariners chased the two and two thirds, six hits, five runs all earned. Two and two here. Jackson represents the tying run. Sue Gray at first. Let's run full. Seeger awaits. Three two pitch when it goes. Strike three called second ten. That's Adam Jackson. Mariners do pick up a run on a hit. There was an error and a man left. Three one Detroit.
far. 12 home runs. The safe go field record in three game series is 14. It's happened twice once against Kansas City back in 99, and then against Toronto in 2001. Detroit's hit eight homers, the Mariners have hit four. That was, that was a monster shot right there. Cespedes is turning around 98 for Fernando Rodney last night. Tied the ball game and set us back for innings. Here's Cespedes. Goody on the left and Austin Jackson. Two big home runs. They went back to back in the third inning last night's game. And then. Robinson Cano with a game winner. They sit down right field line in the eleventh center zone. Seven six Mariners win in eleven. Also homered in the fifth. Oh, two to Cespedes. Jay is going to need a couple of clean innings. 36 pitches for him in the second inning. 55 total now. Nobody out working here in the third. We talked about the use of the bullpen in last night's ball game. Jackson coming in. Cespedes is retired. He's over two now. As we take a look at the Mariners calendar brought to you by Sleep Country USA. Angels come to town for four games. Completes the first half. Four days off for the Mariners and then go to New York three and Detroit four. And they'll be right home, back home. Number one scoring team in baseball, the Toronto Blue Jays. They'll be the next team to come to town a weekend series. 24th, 25th, and 26th, followed by Arizona. Well, we talk about the schedule a lot. It's getting ready to get tough again for the Mariners. You look at the Tigers, they're game over 500, but the Angels hot, as you mentioned, really playing some good baseball right now. Then you go to New York, first place in the East to start the second half. So the schedule's going to turn again and get a little bit tougher. That's hammered to the gap by Victor Martinez. Victor will limp his way to second. 11th double comes with one out here in the third. We talked about it a lot. Anything that's in the middle of the plate, outer third to the inner third of the plate, these guys are going to attack it. That fastball at 90 miles an hour was hit hard into the gap. Now you got to deal with J.D. Martinez. You got a base hit to left. Him running scored on the Castiano Serbia. That was in the second inning. I thought that was a good example. That swing right there. Good fastball inside corner, tied him up, but you can see him fighting to stay inside of it. And that's the reason why he's been dangerous on a lot of the off speed pitches. Take a look at this swing. It's a fastball, 92 miles an hour, but that swing just fighting and trying to stay inside of it. So he's really trying to stay in the large part of the field on the fastball. Try to hit that one out of the ballpark. 78 miles an hour. Way out in front. Two, Nick Castellanos is on deck. Tigers three runs on four hits. Seven minutes of the plate in the second inning. And you can see he's done a lot of damage on the first pitch. Ball one. Against the Oakland Athletics in his last outing. Two two. 
Jay's third career start, fourth appearance against the Tigers, record of 1 0 with a 2 3 0. His three appearances against Detroit all during his time in Toronto. Hitter. Best in the business this year, JD Martinez. Two and two. Center field and deep. Going back, Jackson on the track to make the catch. Well done by Austin Jackson. Two outs here in the third. Scabriati telecast is presented by authority of the Seattle Mariners. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. The accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. There's Nick Castellanos. Single to left, drove in a run on a 2 2 pitch in the second inning. Attack mode. We saw that as the first game of this series. Well, it was by the first three innings, we knew that that was going to be the case. Game 12 to 5 and a 3 nothing lead. Mariners came back to make it 3 2, then took a 5 2 lead, and then gave up 5 and a 6 4 in the 7th. Fly ball, right field to Seth Smith. And Martinez double proves to be harmless here in the third. 3 1 Tigers. Seattle Mariners baseball here in Root Sports being brought to you by Alaska Airlines. 80 non-stop destinations and growing by your local Ford stores. By the Emerald Queen Casino presenting the Under the Sun Tour with Eve 6, July 25th. Tickets at emeraldqueen.com. And by Safeco Insurance. Find a local agent at safeco.com. Do more. Great look at Lake Sammamish.
Kyle Seeger to lead it off, followed by Robinson Cano and Nelson Cruz. Two, three, and four here against Annabel Sanchez, who struck out three, giving up a run on two hits. Take a look at the swing by Kyle. Jams him a little bit inside out swing, but it jams him. Ball slicing away from Cespedes towards the left field line. Bring up Robinson Cano, base hit the center. Came with two outs in the first. He's batting average on the climb. Now 13 for his last 31. Did not go as a check. Kerwin Denley. Five hits, two errors by Detroit. A run on three hits for the Mariners. Marte will flip to the pitcher Sanchez. As Seeger moves over with one out, probably moved the runner up. Take a look. <laughs> Little guy representing Seattle playing well there. Century Lake. What's next? Here your pitching matchups with the Angels coming to town. They've been scoring runs, four straight wins, outscored the opposition 43 to 10, and Felix goes against them to start things off. Mani with Kuma and Taiwan Walker, good matchups. A couple of strikeout pitchers to start things tomorrow with Richards and Felix. A couple of good left-handers. Santiago having a good year for the Angels. Montgomery has been fantastic. All one to Cruz. Reached on an error by the shortstop at Glacis his first time. One out with Seeger at third. Bouncing ball, and that'll pick up a run. Three two ball game. Justin Cruz. And that RBI. Away. Good fundamental baseball by the Mariners. Cano able to move Kyle up after the leadoff double, and then Cruz. Everybody's playing back. Put the ball in play quickly. A simple ground ball out gets a run for you. I'd like to see a lot more of that second half. I agree. Three-two ball game. All one to Seth Smith popped out to the shortstop at Glacius. Yeah. 
there's a shift for Seth. Smith with two home runs against Sanchez. Here's the one one. Two. Castellanos now the third baseman. Then we go over to a more standardized shortstop position. Over to his left. One two pitch. Ball two two and two. Mariner fans checking in from far and wide today. We start off with Pike Parker in Africa. Uh, his, he's there with his family. And then we've got Ryan from Nicaragua, Nicaragua rather, with his Mariner's uh, shirt on. Well done, Ryan. That's fantastic. All right. Uh, remember to use the hashtag where I root on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Dave? All right. So Pike checking in from across the ocean good for him he's in Tanzania Mariners put up a run on the board as we go to the fourth 3 2 Detroit James McCann the catcher will lead off followed by Jeffrey Marte and Andrew Romine six seven and eight in the order McCann first time up struck out on a 2 2 pitch Popped up and Jay Hap's got it. One out. Don't forget to stick around after the game for Mariners post game presented by Delta Airlines. Good looking crowd here in this beautiful afternoon for baseball here in Seattle. And good to see Jay Happ get a quick out. Just two pitches to record the first out here on the fourth. He's down with 70 pitches. He'll throw 36 pitches in the second inning. We've seen a bunch of times this year where you've had that big hiccup inning. American pitchers had the hiccup inning and then settled down. And luckily, 
it's still a ball game. Marte, double to right, driving in a run on the 2 1 pitch in the second. Big league homer. He's two for two with two runs batted in today, and it's 4 2 Detroit. Ninth home run of the series for the Tigers. 13 combined with these two teams. Got that on a 2 0 pitch. Well, and again, it's location. Ball's behind in the count, and then the location of the fastball, middle, middle, as you look at our Alaska Airlines Supermo and the swing by Marte. He's probably wondering why it took so long for him to get here. Pretty easy game. Two for two with a home run. RBI devil and a solo homer. Ball was thrown back onto the field. Mariners get it back to the Tigers. It's the kid's first big league homer. And now they they'll give it to him. <laughs> Albuquerque. While you watch that pitch, Al Albuquerque, the veteran reliever, got the ball as it was relayed in. Do like they always do, fake like he's going to throw it in the crowd before he handed it over to Marte. One off the series record, three game series record here at Safeco Field. Tell you what a throw for that young man. Not for the Mariners. 4 2 Detroit. Oh, mine struck in on a 2 2 pitch. Second inning. Nine homers for Detroit. Third all time for most home runs hit by a visiting team here at Safeco Field. Nationals hit 10 last year. And the Indians had 11 in 2009. Two outs here, Iglesias. Remember that series here last year against the Nationals? The Nationals. They, they looked like the best team ever. <laughs> yeah, Didn't they? they? Yeah. Didn't Harper go upper deck to hit one off the uh, cafe? Yeah, off the cafe. I think Zimmerman went deep. Martinez in that game back in 09 for the tribe. Victor was involved in that. He hit three of the 11 Cleveland home runs back in 09. Two and one here to Iglesias. Three and one. Lead off hitter Rajay Davis waiting on deck. Three and two now. So Marte batting in the seven hole, two for two with two runs batted in. Glacius is driven in a run from the nine hole. Castellanos is counted for a run as well. He is batting fifth. Three and two. After the first game of this series, Trent Jewett, in his post game comments, he was talking about uh, Rollins, White Bay, and how important it was for them to work ahead of counts when he brought him in. But that applies for everybody. And typically in this series, when the guys have fallen behind in counts, they try to throw a fastball in the middle of the plate. It's been hit hard. 
Iglesias. Walks. First walk issued by Hap. Two out base runner. Back to the top of the order. Davis today. Fast fly to center, rounded to short. Wasn't much of a hitter when he first broke in, but he's really turned things around. Two and one. Two outs run at first of Glaciers. Two one from half. Two Detroit lead. That's two and two to Rajay Davis. Did not go. Count runs full. DJ Raper in the first place umpire. Then we'll take a look at it. Second time we're taking a look at a check swing by Davis. His last at bat, and now perhaps he has 90 pitches. I think there's a pretty good chance we're going to see Rollins and White Bay again in this one. All the young relievers for the Mariners. 3 2 pitch. Chopper. See if he knows he's got a hurry. Safe. Well, you mentioned it. He can still get down the line, can he? Mm -hmm. Kyle can't feel that any better than he did. Seager's going to use his glove, but his footwork was perfect on this and is able to get rid of it quickly. He clearly beats it. Now you got the dangerous Yuenis Cespedes at the plate. 0 for 2 with a ground out and a fly out. Two runners aboard, two outs, a run in on the home run by Marte. Scored two stranded, four two Tigers.
Frazier. Robinson Cano. Take it back to last night. And you can hear everybody go, yeah, you knew that was going to get it done. 11th inning base hit. Win the ball game. Love that smile. Cano, who had homered earlier in the ball game, went two for six, drove in two runs. Yeah, he's feeling real good at the plate these days. And that makes the Mariner Ball Club feel a lot better as well. It's Mark Trumbo. Double down the right field line, first time up. Mark with a two hit night last evening. We were talking about it with his hit the first time up and getting his base hits to right field. And I, I think that's the best approach to get when you've been struggling, especially if you're swinging and missing. Move it over to the right side, let the ball travel a little bit, and then you're going to start seeing some power. And there's another example of it. And basketball is in off the plate. Just stay inside of it, start gaining some confidence, and then you're going to see the power numbers from Trumbo. That's a great sign. In fact, yeah. we can muscle that out there. It's two for two, two for four last night. Well, again, here's the swing of it. And you can see it. Leave with the knob of the bat, stay inside of it. It jams him a little bit, but that's okay. It's a better approach than being out in front of everything and swinging at all the breaking balls. Off the plate away, starting to see the ball a little bit. It's a good sign for the Mariners. Remember, he's way out in his front foot. Speaks back safely. And you and Jay were talking about, I mean, as you just illustrated, it, just not seeing it. He didn't have a good feel. That happens. You start moving around too much, and your head starts moving forward. You mentioned hitting off the front side. Your head starts moving forward too much, and everything speeds up on you. The best way to slow things down is just let the ball travel, try to be as quiet as you can, and use the other side of the field, the right side of the field, for the right handed hitter. And then eventually he'll start to work his way around. His timing will get better because he's seeing the ball better. And hopefully we'll start to see some of that home run production he's had throughout his career. Well, he's, been a, he's been a thunder guy, no doubt about it. Takes off, hit swung on and fouled off. Boy, he had that back stolen. Probably a little bit of hit and run. That pitch in off the plate, well off the plate inside. Dustin able to foul it off. So I'm thinking that's probably a hit and run. Trent Jewett putting the play on. Four runs, seven hits, two errors for Detroit. Two runs, four hits, no errors for the Mariners. Mariners have left three men aboard. Detroit stranded four. Pitch runs away, two and one. Oh boy, having a good series. Five out of seven at the plate. Ackley drives on deep to right. Carrying, carrying, and gone. Dustin Ackley's tied it up at 4 4. The Ack attack with a six to run RBI 16 and 17. And new ball game here in the fourth inning. 14 home runs now in this series. Five for the Mariners and nine for Detroit. And we talked about it with Sanchez. This is the 19th home run he's given up this year. And again, it's on the changeup. Up, out over the plate. And he was really having some issues with that pitch earlier in the season. He's been better lately, but you can see Dustin. We talked about it with Dustin last night. For a left-handed hitter, he can really attack a high pitch. And change-ups up and in the middle of the plate will usually get hurt. And that was the case right there. A nice home run for Dustin Ackley. His sixth home run on the year. That ties a three-game series record for combined home runs. Ackley. Last home run, 23rd of June, against Kansas City. Gentleman there in the middle. Wind up giving him the ball. Ball two. To Brad Miller. Brad 0 for 1 with a fly out the center.
So three and one. There you go. Good day at the ball yard. And Brad's aboard with a walk on a 3 1 pitch. Good inning for the Mariners. Single, two run homer, and a walk. First walk issued by Sanchez. Nelson Cruz is an MLB All Star, but this weekend he's a Mariners collectible. That's because it's Nelson Cruz bobblehead night coming up Saturday, 7 10, first pitch against the Angels. And it's all thanks to Root Sports. The first 20,000 fans are going to enjoy the boomstick and bobblehead forum. For tickets, go at the deal log on the Mariners.com. Pitching coach Jeff Jones making a trip out to the mound. Nelson with an RBI in the game today. We got a hit in the count, two and one, hit a two round homer, and the game's tied at 4 4. Logan Morrison has come out to the on deck circle. Here's Jesus Sucre. Nobody out. High score, man at first. It's the bunt down. Fair. Gets the job done. Sucre will get some out of boys. That'll bring out Brad Osmus. I think he thought that ball was foul. Take a look at it right down the line. Hits the line right there. Oh, that's a fair ball. Sacrifice three unassisted. And Logan Morrison going to pinch hit now for Austin Jackson, who's been caught looking twice. In front. He's 0 for 2, a couple strikeouts against Sanchez. Yeah, same, but I would think that Logan will stay in a first trumbo, will go to the outfield, actually, probably goes to center. Good speed at second base. One over to Morris. Well, taking a lot of time to think about that last swing. Trumbo started the inning with a base hit the center. Ackley hit a two run homer. Miller walked. Sucre sacrificed him over. One out. Pinch hitter Logan Morris. Hopefully, two. Logan had some time to prepare for this at bat. Something must have been bothering Austin Jackson for them to take him out of a high ball game. And he's your best outfielder. So, hopefully, whatever is ailing him. They were able to give Logan a heads up, give him a chance to prepare for the at bat. Typically, when you're on the bench, you start getting loose around the sixth inning, is when you think to you start thinking about that. Sanchez taking a lot of time. Here's a one two pitch. He did go as they check with Kerwin Daly, so almost strikes out in his pinch hit duty. For out number two here in the fourth. It's an off speed pitch, 87 miles an hour, and he's not able to check his swing. Fifth strikeout for Sanchez. Kyle Seeger can pick up a two out RBI. 
Good news for the Mariners. They have four runs on the board. The bad news, they're 0 for 7 with runners in scoring position this afternoon. Kyle can pick up a base hit. Seeker fly to right and then double to left. He's trying to stick behind, sneak up behind Brad Miller. I'm <laughs> laughing because Iglesias held on to the ball for the longest time. You see that? And I know where he learned that. Omar Vizquel, <laughs> who's in the dugout for the Tigers, used to do that all the time. Right. Times you see him pull that one off? A lot, too many times. I can remember being at second base when he was with Cleveland, and he is the busiest infielder you've ever seen. He's never standing still, and I was out there, and he kept sneaking behind me. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm only two feet off the bag. I'm not going anywhere, but he didn't care. He still wanted to have fun. So he popped up. Glacius fighting the sun. Can't find it. Second baseman bails him out as they collide. As Romine does a heck of a job to help out Iglesias, who initially thought he was going to make the catch. How about Dustin Eckley? Ahead in the count, 2 1, delivers his sixth home run, and it ties the game here at 4 to 4. Got a new ball game. Mariners RBIs matter both on and off the field. For every Mariners RBI during the 2015 season, Packard makes a donation to the Page Ahead Children's Literacy Program. The Mariners thank Packard for their support in our community. That's a club connection from Issaquah going crazy for the Mariners right now. My kids are at the Auburn basketball camp. My thing is, guys, just bring them home tired. That's all I ask. <laughs> Been there, done that. Good formula. Victor Martinez leading off here in the fifth for Detroit. Tie ball game at 4 4. Victor already one for two. Got some changes here. New outfield configuration. Smith from right to left. Ackley from left to center. Trumbo from first to right field. And Morrison stays in the game at first base. Jay behind here. 3 0. 
Mark Lowe. He was up earlier, now starting to throw. He's just stirring out there now. He's beating up in earnest. Four pitch walk to Martinez, to Victor Martinez. Second walk issued by Jay Happ. Well, he's at 97 pitches. His season high is 111, and Rick Waits is going to get out of the dugout quickly after that walk. Give Mark Lowe a chance to get loose out in the bullpen. Mark just starting to throw, so they're going to try to buy some time. Mark was sensational in last night's game. Pitched one inning, had three strikeouts. Fastball topped out at 97 miles an hour. It's good stuff, Castellanos, Kraus, and Ghost. Dominant inning. And Rick, he's going to wait for the home plate umpire Rob Drake to get out to the mound. Mariner pitching last night racked up 15 strikeouts in that 11 inning contest. 7 6 final. Mariners win it. And you can see the pitch count 97 pitches, 59 strikes. That second inning was a doozy. 36 pitches. Seven minutes of the play, three runs on four hits by the Tigers. Strike one to JD Martinez. Base hit to right, run scored in the second, fly ball, center field in the third. The only easy inning that Hap has had is the first inning, a one, two, three first. Outside of that, they've either scored or had runners in scoring position. One strike. J.D. Martinez starts this day third in slugging percentage behind Mike Trout and Miguel Cabrera. Two and two. Crowd of 26,488 on hand here. 2 2 pitch to JD Martinez. Counts runs full. Counts run full with Nick Castellanos on deck. Two. And here we go. Walked him. This is back to back walks. And Trent Jewett out of the dugout in a hurry. He's seen enough. Jay Happ done here in the fifth. Two men aboard via the walk in a 4 4 ball game.
give you an idea, a little sampling of how well he's pitched. How about last night? Had a really good slider last night. It was an effective pitch against the Tigers and a plus fastball. And his location was excellent last night. There's the good fastball. As he strikes out Ghost, the center fielder in last night's ball game. For the Mariners, take a look at it. Since 1914, most bullpen strikeouts with five innings pitched or less. And the Mariners right there at the top of the list with the White Sox with 12. Dominant stuff from the Mariners bullpen in yesterday's game. Need another dose right here. Dangerous hitter facing Mark Lowe, Nick Castellanos. 0.69 ERA in 26 innings, just two earned runs off of Mark. 34 strikeouts in the 26 innings. Victor Martinez at second, JD at first, JD Martinez. Did not go ball one. Best first half ERA in franchise history, Mark. Shiggy and JJ puts. There's that slider again. Two good ones. Showed you in those respective years, Asagawa and JJ Putz both made the All Star team. Marks one and one here to Castellanos. Two and one. Tigers got on the board first, three runs second. Mariners come back with a run thanks to an error by the first baseman Marte in the bottom of the second. Ernest get another run in the third, an RBI ground up by Cruz. Tigers get a run, a home run by Jerry Marte, Jeffrey Marte. And then Ackley tied it with a two run shot. That shot coming in the fourth inning. Right now, Seattle's two and two. Four sliders in a row from Lowe. And he has a good fastball. In the mid 90s, 95 to 97 miles an hour. Big pitch here, two and two. Nobody out, two on. Full count. James McCann's on deck. That's Dave Clark on your left. He's a third base coach. This will be interesting here. Five sliders in a row. Throw another one in a 3 2 count. Three and two. Dangerous hitter Castellanos. Pitch. Strike three call. Mark Lowe with an important first out. If he throw a ground ball, get a double play and get out of this thing. A gutsy pitch from Mark Lowe. He comes right back with another slider. Take a look at it. this one. He has to throw for a strike, and he's able to do it. 88 miles an hour. Wow, that was a money pitch. Can't 0 for 2, struck out in the second, tried to bunt his way on, leading off the fourth, popped it right back to the pitcher, Jay Happ. Ball clubs from playing well. Grand slam last night. 
Close got Meccano in one. Slow roller. They get one there. They get the double play. No, sir. Two away. Runners at the corners. And now a second base umpire, Joe West, saying the runner at first is out. Well, he's saying that he wasn't close enough to the base on his slide a second when he tried to take him out. We'll take a look at it. Well, the Mariners catch a break. And it might have been a little bit of interference. You have to be able to touch the bag with your hand. Yeah. And Joe West said that wasn't the case. Joe, the veteran right there. So the Mariners get out of it, and the game remains tied at 4 4. Sims, Mike Flowers, Root Sports Crew, Robinson Cano to lead it off. It'll be Cano, Cruz, and Smith here in the fifth inning against the veteran Abel Sanchez. Sanchez, 31 years old, out of Maracay, Venezuela. Probably today with a base hit, center field, and a ground out the first. And Hart, right field, going back. And reaching up to make the catch is J.D. Martinez on that line drive. Martinez involved in the double play. Now, what Joe West is saying that J.D. Well, Martinez got Mike. Well, the key to it is, is when you make your slide, it's okay to take the fielder out. That's your job. But when you slide, if you get wide of the bag, the interpretation is West has to say, okay, yes, he could have still touched the base with his hand. He never made an attempt to do that. So that's the reason why Joe West. Called him out at first base. Right here, you can see it. He'll, his hand will never touch the base. And, and, I, and I thought when I first saw the replay of it, I still thought he was okay. You look at it, and you have to be able to determine that he would have been able to touch the base, either with his foot or his hand. And apparently, Joe thought he was just a little bit too wide. And Brad really wasn't able to get much on the throw because of it. So a good break for the Mariners. Needed a double play, and it worked out. First and second, nobody out there at one point before the strike, and then they get the double play. 2 0 here to Cruz, 3 0. Now, today, reached on an error by the shortstop Iglesias, drove in a run with the ground out. Thing I liked about that last inning is, is the job that Trent Jewett did right there. A couple of walks from half right away. His pitch count was up at 103. Not only did he take him out, but he brought in one of his best right there in that situation. First and second with nobody out in a tie ball game. 
has a couple of young players. Cruz gets the walk, and, and Guaype and Rollins in the pen. And Guaype getting loose right now. I think he'd rather have those two come in to start the inning as opposed to putting them out there with runners in scoring position. Totally different situation as Cruz walks. Second walk issued by Sanchez. And when you head to Safeco Field this Friday for the Mariners game, make sure you check out the Mystery Baseball Sale benefiting Mariners Care. For 50 bucks, you can buy a mystery bag that has a signed baseball from one of your favorite Mariners, including King Felix, Robbie Cano, the Boomstick, and more. For Seth Smith popped out and took a called third strike. Six career hits against Sanchez, two for home runs. To this series, Mariners hanging with the number one hitting team in baseball, the Tigers coming in with a 280 batting average. The Mariners tied this game in a knackly home run. A two run shot in the bottom of the fourth. There you have it. Another early start by the Tigers. Tie ball game. 14 home runs in these three games. Jay Happ. Out of the game, leaving in the fifth. Two and two to Smith. For the Mariners. Two for four in the home stand. He's got a five game hitting streak working. Two two. Runner takes off. Throw down the second. High and late. Stolen base. Nelson Cruz, his second of the season. He's made showing some speed. Stole that easy. Admired his, his running ability when he was with Texas. Trent Jewett. Thought it was interesting talking to Trent yesterday out on the field, and I asked him because you never know how it works. Obviously, Lloyd dealing with some family issues right now, his youngest sister passing away. Could be back in the dugout tomorrow. Four to study. It'll be a walk. But I asked Trent, I said, one, are you in communication with Lloyd? He said, oh, yeah, quite a bit. And then I asked him, I said, when it comes down to the game and managing the game, how does all that work? And he said, you know, he said that he, had, he has such a good feel for what Lloyd wants to do that he feels confident and comfortable in making the moves in the game when Lloyd isn't here and what Lloyd would normally do. And that thought is in his mind all the time. And obviously, there's a, a lot of trust between the two of them. They've been together for a long oh, time, yeah. yeah. But he said he's in communication. He'll talk to him in the mornings, go over the lineup and all that kind of stuff. So it'll be good, good to have Lloyd back here tomorrow. Yes, Chris done a nice job. Well, how about the nice job done by Mr. Trumbo? Five for seven in this series. A double down the right field line, a base hit up the middle. The two men aboard and one out. Maybe a power shot here. Something he can pull this time around. Well, you're talking about pitching him away, and that was interesting. First pitch fastball right on the inside corner to him. He's clearly seeing that ball away from him a lot better than he did about three days ago. He'll try to go back in there again. To the fastball probably middle in his last time up and he was able to stay inside of it and hit it back up the middle for a base hit then try to pull it. One out 
two on here for the Mariners. Back in there again. Two one count. Sanchez thinking about it. Trumbo checking Rich Donnelly. Third base coach. And then Sanchez comes this time. Well, here's the key I was just thinking about it for Trumbull because we've been talking about staying on pitches away from him. When you see three fastballs, 94 miles an hour on the corner or just in off the plate, you still stay with that same approach of discipline on the pitch away. We'll see what Sanchez wants to do right here. They're going right back in there again. Cespedes, long run. Wow, uh, he made the catch. He could cover some ground, can't he? Boy, I'll tell you, he's a good player. I thought that was destined to the corner. Time for a big fish casino, big catch. Cespedes gets the job done here. This could have been a two run double. He runs this baby down. Two outs. The well, takeaway is that Trumbo is getting back into a That was another here. good at bat for him. Yeah. That was a pretty good fastball, probably just off the inside corner. Cespedes and his his power. He's got seven outfield assists among the leaders in the league, and you saw him cover some ground here. And then the play he made last night on the pitch that was that went up looked like it had a chance to get down. Wow, well, we we know from watching him with Oakland, he's oh, a tremendous athlete. No doubt. One out to Ackley. One on one. Here's Ackley with the home run, a Columbia Bank difference of the game. Tied it at 2 2 in the bottom of the fourth. For Dustin, his sixth home run of the year. Had a change up, up and out over the plate. Two on, two out. Cruz just got back. He was taking a big secondary lead. Well, which is fine. He wants to make sure that he can score, but I'd like to see him slide going back into the base. Sometimes on that play right there, you can really hurt yourself. Twist an ankle, jam a knee up. The Mariners certainly don't want to lose him out of the lineup. He makes it back in good shape. Most consistent offensive force the Mariners have had since day one. 2 1 to Ackley. Jay Davis a couple steps to his left. That'll do it. So the Mariners get two men aboard. Can't score on five complete here in Seattle. A 4 4 ball game. Brought to you by BNSF Railway, sponsor of the BNSF Blast. Earlier today, out on Lake Washington, 
lady having a very nice day. Let's check it with Angie Mentick. Yeah, guys, a day baseball is a great reason to get out of work, or better yet, you could call it work. And that is what some are doing. Use the hashtag where I root like the heavy restaurant group a team doing a day at the ballpark. And they're thanking the Mariners for the tickets. Nine inning lunch. I like it. Uh, Joe is with his buddy Brad and not really Brad. If you look in the background there, that's Brad out on that Shannon Dreyer and also uh, Jason Bay out on our center field set and Valerie celebrating her 26th anniversary with the Mariners and the Mariner Moose. Who, guys, would you want to spend your anniversary with other than the Moose? I mean, come on. Doesn't get much better than that. Back to you. <laughs> Thank you, Angie. Michael Guaype takes over. Third Mariner pitcher this afternoon. Just his third appearance on the year. Only two and a third for him. A couple of strikeouts, one walk. Jeffrey Marte, young man, have a big day. First big league hit in RBI in his first home run. Two for two, two ribs. Looking at Guaype, came in that first game of the series, and I was talking to Trent Jewett about it, and he said, well, he said he has a pretty good sinker, so I wanted to bring him, see if we can get a double play ball at the time and keep the ball on the ground with the way the Tigers were swinging. Another good slider right there. And he goes, it just didn't work out. We, we talked a lot about it, and he's talking about you don't manage a, a particular game because of what happened the previous two games. You also have to think about the games ahead of you. And Lloyd has talked about that a lot. But the interesting thing, and you tell me what you think the chances are of this. Little pop up. But after after all of that, he said it yeah, just didn't work out. And you know, Trent was a longtime minor league manager, but he, he said he goes, I've lost a thousand games. He goes, you don't lose sleep over it. You move forward, you do the best you can. It didn't work out. And then he looked at me and he goes, but I've also won a thousand. And so I laughed about it. And he goes, how about this? Think about this. Trent Jewett, on the same day, he lost game 1,000 as a manager. And then he won game 1,000 as a manager. So in a doubleheader, he won one, the lost one, and both nice. of them 1,000. I hope he saved both scorecards. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. What, what are the odds of that, especially when you're in the minor leagues, because so much of it is development. Sure. It's not necessarily always about wins and losses. Absolutely. But I, I thought that was pretty interesting that he would lose a thousand games and win a thousand games as a manager, and both those numbers hit on the same day. He has seen a lot of baseball games. And Lloyd go way back. And Rich Dunley, they're all the Pittsburgh organization. Line drive, Cano's got two putouts in the inning. Time now for our Geico This State in MLB history. Thank you back to 1994, Mr. Rodriguez. It's his big league debut at age 18 at Fenway Park. Going 0 for 3. Were you there that day? I was. I'm not sure if it was that game or it was the second game, but I know he had a game where he made a couple of errors and had a tough time with it, but <laughs> you can see it right there. Age 18, he mm. was really young. <laughs> but you could tell, right? All the tools were there, yeah, you could absolutely see it. Team 95, part of happenings then. Is the hitter, fourth leading hitter in the American League. Or be a double in a walk today. Long run for Lomo. He's got no play. The infield of Seeger, Miller, Cano, and Morrison. Trumbo started at first, but then with the bad back, back spasm for Austin Jackson, they had to do some shuffling around. So Smith went from right field to left field. Ackley went from left to center. Trumbo went from First to right field with Lomo taking over first base. Ninety six miles an hour from Mr. White Bait. Two and two. Two out, nobody on. And 
base hit up the middle by Iglesias. His second hit, two for two in a walk and an RBI. Keep your eye on the bus. Follow us from a safe distance on Twitter at Sound Transit. And Rick waits quickly out of the dugout, going to make a trip out to the mound. I think again in this game is Trent Jewett getting Mark Lowe up when he did. And again, Lowe was just going to pitch the one inning. It's a matter of when you want to typically for Mark, you want to pitching in the seventh or eighth inning with the way that he has been going. But right there you have a tie ball game. Happ had lost it, blocked a couple of batters, and he brought in Lowe in the situation as opposed to Guay Bay or Rollins, a couple of the young guys. And Mark obviously with the strikeout, the double play gets out of the inning. I think when he, he knew he was going to have to use these guys because the pitch count got up so high on Happ in this one quickly. But get him out there without anybody on base, take some of the pressure off of him. And Lowe's been having a dynamic year. Oh. He's been a shutdown guy. Bring him in. Yep. Absolutely. Top of the order, Najee Davis. That's a strike one. Davis today. Infield hit. He's one for three. This great jump. Throw by Sucre. Safe. Glacius, stolen base. That's his tenth. And the Tigers will run. They are third in the American League in stolen bases. You take a look at the tag by Cano. Whoa. <laughs> he looks like he's out to me. It was a great look right there. Quick tag by Cano, and it looked like he's, he's, he tagged him before his foot ever hit the or his hand ever hit the base. We'll take another look at it right here. Quick tag, strong throw by Sucre. Take a look at his hand. He gets him right there, yeah. and he's short of the base. Oh, yeah. They're going to take a look at it now. Joe West, the umpire. So they're going to call him out. A strong throw by Sucre. Joe, the crew chief at second base. So the video. See the fellas back at the control center in Manhattan have to say. Well, I thought from that last look that we had it was there it is right clear. There. On the big board, you're going to hear a crowd erupt. They see what we just showed you, Joe West and company looking at it. Throws him out on a fine tag by Cano. That'll do it for Detroit in the sixth. Game stays at 4 4.
protect our West. Now until August 31st, a portion of every purchase of Coors Banquet will be donated to the Wildland Firefighter Foundation. Learn more about the foundation and the Protect Our West program at WFFoundation.org. Brad Miller slashes one foul. Here in the home six, Miller, Sucre, and Morrison against Annabelle Sanchez. Detroit took a three nothing lead. Mariners nipped the way at him. Got one in the second, one in the third, and Dustin Ackley. With Detroit up four to two, tied it with a two run homer, his sixth of the season. That game in the bottom of the fourth inning. Brad today, fly to center, and a walk. Sanchez today struck out five, walked three. Light breeze here at Safeco Field, very comfortable. Two and two. Calls time. Full count. Sanchez with that back turn doing a little Johnny Cueto slash El Teante. <laughs> Johnny Cueto with the Reds does a lot of that. Probably more so this year than any year before. 3 2. And Brad's aboard. Laid off walk. Fourth walk by Sanchez playing fantasy baseball. Well, MLB.tv serves up real time highlights and pitch tracking info on your out of market fantasy players live or on demand on over 400 devices. Blackout and other restrictions apply, so get MLB.tv today. Gray got that a sacrifice in the fourth inning and reached on an error by the first baseman back in the second inning. Well, I'm sure they'll ask him to bunt again right here. Sanchez now at 96 pitches. Nobody getting loose in the pen for the Tigers. His season high is 117. It was on July 3rd against Toronto. Sacrifice today by Sucre. Well done. Miller safely to second. And we'll take a look at it. Perfectly executed by Sucre. Bat out in front at the barrel of the bat at the top of the strike zone. So many times we see guys that just start jabbing at the ball, and he was really good. Just try to catch it. Excellent. Excellent job by Sucre on that sacrifice bunt. Two today gives him three on the season. Ties Ackley for the team lead with three sacrifices. Sets it up for Lomo. Logan getting his second at bat. Came into the game. Austin Jackson. Oh, there goes Brad. Miller takes off for third. Throw not in time. Stolen base. Brad Miller is ninth. He stole that easy. And he stole it off of Sanchez. McCann didn't have much of a chance to try to throw him out. Tigers and Lyle have to bring their infield in. But Logan coming into the game because Austin Jackson had back spasms, had to leave. Austin went 0 for 2 today, took two called third strikes. Right to Romine. Seeger now have to get it done with two outs. 
Hot Anaheim team won four consecutive ball games into their last ten. And here are your pitching matchups for Century Link. What's next? Felix and Garrett Richards, Santiago and Mani, CJ Wilson and Wakuma and Heaney and Taiwan Walker. Isaiah Davis is fast and he's able to run that down. Disappointing into the sixth. Score remains tied at four. Sports being brought to you by Jack in the Box. Now, if you mention Mariners win, mention Mariners for a free jumbo jack with purchase tomorrow at Jack in the Box by CenturyLink. You're linked to what's next by Geico. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more in car insurance. And by Money Tree, proud to make a donation to Mariners Care for every Mariners win. 4 4 ball game. Andy Bridge. Traffic clean right now, moving quite well. May not be the case another hour or two. Patrick White Bay continues. Pitched in the six. Rajay Davis was at the plate. And Jose Iglesias was caught stealing to end the sixth inning. White Bay, the third Mariner pitcher today. J. Happ started one four plus an inning for Mark Lowe and White Bay in his second inning. Trumbo settles under. One out. And that is a big out. You do not want to have Davis on the bases tie game late. He can cause a lot of problems. So, 14 stolen bases at terrific speed. The ultimate cap for guys. It's complete with built in bottle opener. It's going to be yours when you join us for an EQC Guys Night Out on Friday, 7 10 start time. For only 40 bucks, you'll receive this cap to select main or terrace club level ticket plus your first drink. Guys Night Out tickets are available right now at mariners.com slash guys. Cespedes. 0 for 3 today. He's made a nice play out in left field. Line drive by Trumbo. Back in the fifth. Ten among hits leaders in the American League. Sixth in that category, and he's behind one and two. White Bay 
get ready. One, two to Cespedes. Woo. Way upstairs. Downers outfield of Smith, Ackley, and Trumbull. The infield Seeger, Miller, Cano, and Morrison with Sucre behind the plate. Two and two. Broken bat looper. It's going to get down for a base hit. Looks like another slider. Backs up a little bit, stays on the inner half. Breaks his bat, jams him. He was expecting it to break out over the plate a little bit more. Up Victor Martinez, one for two with a walk. He doubled back in the third to left center field. Seth Smith in left field moves over about five or six steps to his left. Trent Jewett was talking about Guaype and him having a good sinker. If he can get Martinez to hit the ball on the ground, definitely a double play candidate. He does not run well at all. Just grounded into 10 double plays. Two no. And Rick waits out of the dugout. High pressure situation here for the youngster. Two and out to a great hitter in Martinez with a man aboard in a tie game. Well, yeah, and this is this is the inning right here that Trent Jewett is looking at, the difficult part of it. You have Cespedes who has a base hit, then you have Mar Victor Martinez, JD Martinez waiting on deck, Castellanos who's having a great series after that. Then you get into some of the extras with McCann, Marte, Romine. So this was going to be the difficult inning to try to navigate. Cespedes at first. Victor Martinez with a 2 0 count. Breaking ball for strike. A good curveball. 2 and 1. One pitch, Cespedes runs through the whole base hit. Miller deked it. He stopped, but is able to recover and get the third. So one out runners at the corners, and J.D. Martinez coming to the plate. White Bay was able to get the ground ball right here. Unfortunately, it finds a hole on the right side of the infield. The Tigers in this afternoon's ball game are three for 11 with runners in scoring position. As you see, Rollins, he's going to get loose in the pen. Big spot here. One out. Miller and Cano double play depth up the middle. Martinez, single, fly out in the walk. If that hit him on the hand or on the wrist. Ninety three mile an hour fastball. We might hit him right on the back of the hand. This is where it gets tough when you're. Have a game like you did last night Dave 11 innings and mm -hmm. Carson Smith. A young pitcher as we'll take a look at our Alaska Airlines Supermo and the. Fastball by Guaype. A couple of fingers. Carson.
Harrison Smith throwing two innings last night. I believe it was 36 pitches that he had to throw, so they want to stay away from him. You have a young, talented pitcher, can't overuse, and the only right hander left then is Rodney. You need him to save the game if you get the lead. And so then it's just the three left handers left. Charlie, who pitched an inning last night, Rollins, the young lefty, is up getting loose now. And of course, Joe Bimel. Kevin Rand. And athletic trainer checking out J.D. Martinez and J.D. walked first. And what a situation here. Castellanos, 306 hitter with runners in scoring position with a homer, 29 runs batted in. White Bay needs a double play ball as badly as he's ever needed one. Base is loaded, one out. Pitch. Strike one. That's the middle save. An RBI single in the second. Fly to right in the third. So you call it third strike in the fifth. Mark Lowe's first hitter. And Rollins continuing to warm up. Mail one. Ahead here, 0 2. And I think Rollins is, is getting loose in case they bring a pitch hitter in. You have three right handed hitters. Cassianos is out the plate, McCann and Marte, all right handed hitters. So he's getting loose in case they run a pitch hitter up there. They have Ghost, Avila, and Kraus on the bench. Well, a punch out wouldn't be a bad thing here. 0 2. One out, bases loaded in a 4 4 game. Pitch from White Bay. Ball one. Cespedes, he's at third. Victor Martinez at second, and J.D. Martinez at first. The Super calls time. You know, the Tigers came into the series hitting 280 with runners in scoring position, three for 11 today. 11 for 30 in the series. Ball and two strikes. Something to shut down Detroit. Like the Tigers shut down the Mariners in the sixth inning. Mariners got Brad Miller to third, couldn't score it. Right now, Guaypa, he needs to get a pitch down in the zone. Pitches were up to Victor Martinez, who's at second base. Pitch that he hit JD Martinez with, and all four pitches here in this at bat have been elevated. Big spot, one and two. Again. See it on the EQC tracer. That one elevated as well on the inside corner. Tied him up with it. Against Castellanos, one and two, long look by Guaype. Now he's ready. And a one-two. Five ball center field. Ackley coming in, gets under it. Here's the throw. It cannot throw to third. Got him. The run counts. The run does count. Rob Break pointing to home plate. The run does count, but they get the runner at third. That was Victor Martinez. Detroit takes a 5 4 lead. Heads up play by Robinson Cano, knowing that Martinez was tagging up at second. We talked about him not running well. And he makes a perfect throw to Kyle Seeger at third.
stretch of your mind as you consider how a Washington's lottery win would change your bucket list play today. Good today for baseball. 26,488 on hand here at Citgo Field. 5 4 lead for Detroit. Next scores like Silver Bullet Saturday. It's this weekend. There's 400 fans, 21 and older, in the pen during early happy hour. Receive a Silver Bullet Saturday t shirt and extended happy hour pricing until first pitch. Plus, fans will have the opportunity to win autographed Mariners merchandise, tickets, and more. There's Annabelle Sanchez still in the ballgame in the seventh. Robinson Cano to lead things off. Cano, Cruz, and Smith, three, four, and five. Sacrifice fly by Castellano says Detroit ahead five to four. Smart play by Robinson Cano, knowing they didn't have a chance to get Cespedes at the plate, but able to get out of the inning with the relay to third. Robbie's had three good at bats and had a base hit his first time up. Was trying and able to move the runner up his second time and then lined out to right his last time up. And they count 2 0. Good aggressive swing right there. Seen Blaine Hardy enough in this series getting loose again. On Al Albuquerque. Two and one at Cano. Job against Rondon last night, throwing him 100 and 101. A couple of foul balls he hit before he flied out the left. Oh. Swing and a miss there. And there's one out here in the seventh. Want to win some tickets to Nelson Cruz bobblehead night this Saturday against the Angels? All you have to do is text Cruz to 71532. 71532, and you could win two tickets in the commissioner's box. Plus your very own seven inch collectible uh, Mariners All Star. Here's Nelly. 0 for 2 in RBI, a walk and a stolen base today. on 10 hits, two errors for Detroit, four runs, five hits. No errors for the Mariners. Mariners have stranded seven. Six stranded by Detroit. One and two to Cruz. To move on to Minnesota in the next four games and then wrap up the first half of the season. One, two. <laughs> two and two. Cruz one for seven against Sanchez. That one hit a home run. Challenged him right there with the fastball. 
112 pitches for Sanchez again his season high 117. Nelson Cruz, a one out walk. Fifth walk issued by Sanchez. Second time he's walked Nelly and Brad Osmus. We'll pull the plug on Sanchez. Annabelle's going to leave with a 5 4 lead. One out here in the seventh. Comparison of the starters. Take a look at it for Sanchez. Four runs, three of them earned. Four runs, all of them earned for half. Sanchez throwing 113 pitches to get through six in the third. Jay, unfortunately, 103 to get through the four innings that he pitched. They bring in the left-hander Blaine Hardy. Sanchez day over. Looks like he's still irritated from. Calls he wanted in that Nelson Cruz hit back. Franklin Gutierrez is going to pinch hit for Seth Smith. One out, one on here in the seventh. But he's been getting his work, and this will be his 38th appearance. 2.52 ERA. Opponent's hitting just 2.18. He's yet to give up a home run. Big moment for Goody last night after the Austin Jackson grand slam in the third inning. Goody was the next hitter up in a 3 1 pitch. He homered the right center field. First home run since September 2013. 3 1. Drops an off speed pitch 0 2. At first, one out, oh, two pitch to Goody. Bouncing ball goes foul. Sanchez, a lot of pitches here, got into the seventh. Two pitch. Take it for ball one. Albuquerque continues to get loose in the pen for the Tigers. We saw him in last night's ball game. David Rollins, the left hand, is throwing in the Mariners' pen. So look at Al Albuquerque. He looks at ball two.
two pitch coming. Another change up from Hardy elevated again. Pretty good swing by Franklin. To have Franklin back missed all of last year, battling ankylosing spondylitis, form of arthritis. And holding on is the catcher, McCann, and Goody's gone, two outs. Yeah, Brad Osmus out of the dugout, he's going to make a pitching change. Another off speed pitch. This is the breaking ball from Hardy. Able to get it under the hands of Gutierrez. Handed the fish Trumbo. Five four Tigers. Now let's take a look at our Delta Airlines keep climbing standings. Those Astros, the lead down to two and a half with the Angels coming on strong. Texas Rangers they back off the accelerator a little bit. Certainly an opportunity for the Mariners to get something going. For Al Albuquerque, a 2.95 ERA, 37 strikeouts, 18 walks, a lot of walks in 36 and two thirds. Home sitting 239, he's given up four home runs. Saw him last night. It's good fastball in the low 90s. Threw a lot of sliders last night. Guarding the line at third, Castiano. Trumbo 0 for 1 against Al Albuquerque. A strike two out, man aboard Nelson Cruz. Tying run at first base. Working his way back nicely. Base hit left field. Comes with two outs, and the Mariners have runners in first and second for Dustin Eckley. A three hit day for Trumbo. And we'll take a look at it. Looks like the breaking ball and slider up out over the plate, the middle away. And he hits it on the button. Sharp line drive into left field. Well, that's got to feel good. Double down the right field line in the second, single to center in the fourth, and his hard line drive of ground ball into left field. Three hit day, three for four with two runs scored. Yeah, and a pretty good running catch by Cespedes down the left field corner to take a double away from him. Roger that. 
Ackley has had a moment of heroics, tying the ball game with a two run homer in the fourth. One for three. Trumbo's three for four day has done wonders for his batting average from 172 to 238. Two and one. Two one pitch. Make it three and one. Red Miller's on deck. He's over for one, two walks with a stolen base. A good threat here by the Mariners. They get Miller to third and a six. Couldn't score him. There's a 3 1. Three balls and two strikes now to Dustin. The good news is the runners will be able to take off with the pitch. So on a base hit, Nelson Cruz should be able to score. Exactly one for one against Albuquerque. 3 2 pitch, runners go. Left field for Sess for this easy play. We'll do it. Two more stranded. Here in the seventh, Detroit leads it 5 4. Be. Mm. Top of the eighth, Tigers by a run, 5 4. Rubber match of this series. A reminder to make your voice heard. Nominate your favorite plays of the week by tweeting us using the hashtag RootFanFave. Each month, one lucky fan's going to win a Coors Light Refresherator just for participating. Official rules visit RootSports.com. Glad you're with us on this. Lovely Wednesday afternoon, 26,488 on hand. Here at St. Goldfield, Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, Root Sports Crew. Mariners have had their opportunities. Michael, they're 0 for 13 runners in scoring position. 5 for 32 in the series. A Yikes. 156 batting average. Yeesh. Yep. David Rollins is going to take over. Just his third appearance. Good fastball. He'll be 94 to 96 miles an hour with his fastball mixing a slider. He'll get six, seven, and eight in the order. James McCann, Jeffrey Marte, and Andrew Romine. Sack fly by Castellanos right now. The difference that came in the seventh inning. Tough 
go for Rollins in Monday's game at one inning, seven hits, four runs all earned. From David. Change up at 84 miles an hour. Finds a hole, base hit right field. Off man's aboard brings up Jeffrey Marte, young man. Having a nice day. An RBI double gets first big league hit in the second inning, first homer in the fourth. And his debut, big league debut, Sunday against Toronto is a pinch, pinch hitter on Sunday's ball game. Knocked around the Tigers Athletics and Mets organizations. Two for three day with two weren't runs batted in. Come on a singer. I've got a canoe for one if they go around the horn. Double play beautifully done. about as easy as it gets for a couple of the best Kyle Seeger with the gold glove last year Robinson Cano turns it easily. He was really getting down the line made it closer than I thought he was going to. But a good turn for the Mariners. Quick two outs here in the eighth. Up Andrew Romine 0 for 3 is strikeout swinging looking and line out the Cano. Joaquin Soria. Better in the closer. Good work by David Rollins. Gives up a hit, gets a double play, gets a strikeout, nothing across in the eighth. Coming up for the Mariners in the bottom of the eighth, it'll be Brad Miller. Jesus Sucre and Logan Morrison.
take a look at the Mariner All Stars for this season. Of course, Felix going back and Nelson Cruz both well deserving to be in Cincinnati, part of the American League squad. Cruz, boy, he has been outstanding pretty much from day one. Let's get him to the plate in this inning. Eight, nine, and one do up. Cruz hitting fourth in the lineup. If he gets a chance to hit in this inning, good things are happening for the Mariners. All right, Krause taking over first base for Brad, the Tigers. Brad has been on base a couple times. Two walks. Now Albuquerque continues on here. Brad's going to get to work here on two. And holding on is McCann. Strikeout victim. Number one for Al Albuquerque. One away. And then we'll take a look at the swing by Brad. This is going to be an off speed pitch right below the hitting area. He'll swing over the top of it. Mike Zanino going to pinch hit for Sucre. They might can have a moment. Well, they're sending him up there to hopefully hit the ball out of the ballpark. That's the kind of moment I was thinking about. There you go. Happened this season. He's a season leader in that, the club leader in that category. Top speed pitching a bad one just slips out of the hand of Albuquerque. Pinch hitter in the fourth inning. Back spasms knocked out Austin Jackson, starting center fielder. Morrison back on uh, Monday night. Huge three run homer in the fifth inning put the Mariners ahead five to three. Tigers though went on to win 12 5. Carson one for two against Albuquerque. Inside one. This win have good momentum going into the Angel series. Angels are super hot. Mariners pitching's been pretty good. Could make for a nice formula going into the weekend. Two and two to Lomo.
here at Safe Co Field. Bears going to have their hands full when the Angels come to town or Century Link. What's next? Good pitching matchup. Garrett Richards against Felix tomorrow. Angels have won four consecutive games, eight of ten. And in those four consecutive wins, they've outscored the opposition 43 to 10. Pitching is going to have to be on point. Hazy day when it's the old Matt King Cole song, those lazy, crazy, hazy days of summer. Jose Iglesias against David Rollins. Mike Zanino stays in the game behind the plate. Speaking of pitching, you'd really like Rollins to keep the score right where it's at. Mariners, cool. one more chance at it. I have Seeger, Cano, and Cruz coming up in the bottom of the ninth. They will face Soria. Soria with 18 saves on the year. Is working one and two. Place just a two hit day, two for two, an RBI and a walk. With the bag for the out. It's just the third major league appearance for Rollins. And what we saw the other night is a good fastball. Again, he was topping out at 96 miles an hour, but he looked as if he was trying to throw every fastball as hard as he could today. A little better fastball, still there, 94, 95, but with some sink to it, and he's had a much better changeup. Not just trying to throw a pass, guys, today. There's a good fastball at 95. You start mixing in the changeup though, and that fastball at 95 will really start to get on the hitters. Davis with an infield hit today, one for four. Romo and Zanino taking a look. Zanino, no play. Soria. Tommy John surgery not too long ago. We had a dominant pitcher in Kansas City a few years ago. They went to Texas now here with Detroit. Not overpowering, but he could really locate. There's another good changeup. Right on the outside corner, keeping his changeup down this afternoon. First game, the only time we've seen him in this series. All one. One out, nobody on, ninth inning. Right now, the difference in the ball game is seventh inning sack fly off the bat of Nick Castellanos, the third baseman. It's 5 4 Tiger lead. Two away here in the ninth. There's 
assessment is base hit in the seventh. He scored the go-ahead run. Jens in the clubhouse chatting with the players. We will catch up with acting skipper Trent Jewett. Get you set for the series with the Angels. Mix in a little all-star news. And guys, the Bears and the Tigers have combined for 14 home runs so far. That is historic in a three-game series at Safeco Field. We'll have more on that. And uh, hopefully we'll get a 15th and a 16th right here in the ninth inning. Back to you. I like the way you think. 2 3 4 coming up against Joaquin Soria. 35th appearance, 3 0 record, 18 saves, and 20 opportunities. 2 4 8 ERA, 28 strikeouts, and 32 and 2 thirds. Again, just five walks. He is a control type pitcher. Going to try to keep it on the ground. Going to hitting 215. Second year with the Tigers. All one to Seeger. Soria, five years with Kansas City, rolled up on. 160 saves. Tears with Texas 17. On a one, Mikhail. Uh, Kyle's not happy in that last, but you can see one was not close. Here's your defensive setup. Romine moves from second to third. Kinsler takes over at second. Ghost in center. Krause came in the previous inning at first base. And he gets in the chase and after calling the other pitch a strike. That second pitch was called a strike because he's well off the plate away. Wow. 
Yeah. Wow, that was close. Now, so we talked about it. instead of being in a hitter's count at two and oh, you're in a one one count, and now you feel that you have to cover that much more of the outside part of the plate. Spot to be in, especially with a guy that can consistently throw the ball there. Cespedes long run. It's three good defensive plays we've seen him make in this series. And we talked about it. covers a lot of ground. Again, another fastball off the plate away. Kyle. It's pretty good down into the corner, but Cespedes covers so much ground. He was over at left center field. As you look at our Alaska Airlines Supermount, and it's an easy catch for him. Cano, 0 for 10 against Soria. Sorry, I missed the entire 2012 season. Tommy John surgery. You know, swing of that well for the Mariners lately. A great sign. And you know, that's the chase. Two down. Leave it up to Nelson Cruz. And this looks like a change up down and away, 87 miles an hour. Well, Cruz with 21 home runs. The good news story has given up seven home runs this year. Cruz against Joaquin Soria, two for five with a home run. Been a run back in the third and a ground out. He's walked his last two times up. He's also stolen a base. Straight go on to Nelson. Two outs, game on the line. Pitch from Soria. Walked in, tying runs aboard. Now he's walked in three consecutive plate appearances. And with the walk, Fernando Rodney getting loose in the pen. Taylor going to pitch run for Cruz. And with that, nobody left on the bench.
Chris Taylor at first, two outs. All the Mariners up on the front rail. Goody's one for eight against Soria. It was a home run. Ball one. Pitches eight strikes. And he's probably given a couple of those strikes on pitches that were away. Sorry, has been murdered on the Mariners 17 for 17 and save opportunities. ERA 0.82, 3 0 pitch. Ball four. Tying run at second. Winning run at first for Mark Trumbo, who's having a huge day. Time up, Mark. Shot a hard ground ball through the left side. He's got three hits today, three for four. He's taking his batting average from 172 to 238. Maybe he can elevate one here. He's had four good at bats today. And that's one of the things we talked about, especially with the power hitter starting to get his hits now, gaining that confidence, covering the outside part of the play, which is going to be important in this at bat. Taylor at second to tying run. Goody the winning run at first. Trumbull one for five against Soria. Fernando Rodney continues to get loose in the pen for the Mariners. Trumbull's last walked off hit was a home run. 21st of April 2013. It was against Detroit. Speed out there, Taylor and Goody. Last night, Cano won it with some dramatics in the 11th pitch. Ball one. Oof. What a break! I'll take it. I'll take it. Because if the catcher McCann was having some words with Rob Drake. Mr. Buner would say a little lift and separate here. <laughs> Here's the strike. Little one. Mariners have been looking for a big hit all afternoon. Oh, 0 for 13 with Ooh. runners in scoring position this afternoon. No better time than now. Time called. Two outs and then two walks. Trumbo in position. Make something big happen here. One one from Soria. Went chasing there, got a piece of it, and they eat up McCann, the catcher, one and two. And the first really slow curveball from Soria, just 70 miles an hour. Just off the outside corner, but you can see it looping like that. I think if it stays a little bit closer onto the plate, Trumbo would have been able to do some damage with it. Ernest had the tying and winning run aboard. Down to the final strike here at one and two to Mark Trumbo, two outs in the ninth. Trying to 
steal this series. This is the rubber match. One two pitch. Taken outside for ball two. That was a pitch he was waving at earlier in the week. Yeah, no question about it. He's seen the ball a lot better. Again, it started with him starting to get some base hits to right field, going the other way. Trumbo's got all kinds of power. Let's see if he can get into one here. Sorry, taking his time. A long look at McCann. Get it together here. He's making it work. 21 pitches. Only 10 strikes. That Seeger on a 1 2 pitch. Cano, 3 pitches. Walk Cruz on 5 and walked Goody on 4. There we go. 2 2. Struck him out, and that is the ball game. Detroit wins it 5 4, takes a series 2 games to 1. Mariners finished today 0 for 14 runners in scoring position. Unfortunately, wasted the bullpen again. The bullpen outstanding, having to go five innings, giving up just one run over five. So that's back to back nights. Ten innings for the bullpen, giving up two runs. Just the one today, and you mentioned it. Just couldn't come up with a clutch hit today. 0 for 14 runners in scoring position. A lot of opportunities, could not cash them in. Tough one to say the least. Back at you tomorrow. Angels will be in town. Big four game series. Wrap up the first half of the season. Mariners post game presented by Delta Airlines starts right now with Brad and Jason Bay. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. So, a businessman.